Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video and what a video it's going to be today. Let me introduce Wasip in his Hummel. He's just getting ready to start the game. He is very excited and I'm very excited to share this video with you today. We have amazing stuff to watch together. Chills and thrills, teamwork, victories and defeats, euphoria, tactics on display, skill like you've never seen before. Map awareness, RNG, the unexpected, just the most amazing teamwork and camaraderie. Everything on display today in a series of clips. And we're going to enjoy them together this fine day. How's that for an intro? It's just going to be spectacular, guys. Just spectacular. And we're starting with Wasip in his Hummel. Just eager to play. He's just gotten off a hard day work at work and he's at home now ready to enjoy a little bit of tanking before dinner and here he goes aiming his first shot trying to get a hit on the first enemy that his team spots for him who will it be who could it be now would it be you no 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 you oh yes you, you, yes 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 this is the first target here you go this is to aim your shot take your first shot it's beautiful beautiful lands a hit Hey, what's going on here? Uh, let me check my script. Something. Oh! Oh, guys, remember all those things I mentioned? All that stuff we were going to watch in this video? Forget about it. We're not watching this stuff. Assholes! That's what it's about today. Assholes! We're going to get none of that other stuff. We're going to start with a platoon of assholes. Three of them. Look at them. Using the Wargaming Advanced Physics Lift You Up and flip you over like a pancake maneuver. It's Ronalk in the KV-1 and his platoon mate Surikakata, one, two, three in the KV-1. And doing the heavy lifting and flipping was Adam Prusa in the T-34S. The first three contestants in the next episode of The Biggest Asshole. Ha ha ha. Hey, you thought it was gonna be about teamwork? You thought it was going to be about tactics and skill, map awareness, RNG, huh? Fuck that! Assholes! Assholes is what this game is about, and there they go! They're going to flip someone else. They're on to their next victim. You three are the first contestants on today's episode of The Biggest Assholes. You guys get to watch, you get to witness, and then... Well, you don't get to vote anymore because YouTube removed the voting button. You gotta leave comments. You gotta pick who today's biggest asshole will be. We're gonna watch a series of clips and then you guys get to decide. Mad Dog A245 is ready to start the game in his STRV. The little cheese wedge. Here he goes. Heading to the 8 9 line a little. Oh, oops. Sorry, he backs up. Sorry, yeah, a little bit of a nudge there. No problem, no harm done. What a gentleman. Actually backed up and let that steer uh, get by unscathed. Two TDs moving down this eight line together. He has amazing camo. Probably, he's got binox packed camo net. He's going to pop down this tree, sit in this bush, and he's going to spot everyone. And then he and his buddy in the steer, who he politely... Uh, backed up for are going to put there they are both of them two big guns waiting here to hit any unsuspecting player that is stupid enough to drive down this 8-9 line oh if the two of them oh, oh the steer no the enemies you're supposed to shoot the enemies not your teammate if you both aim when he detects someone boom boom you could put like 800 damage into the first unsuspecting enemy that comes down here. Now they're heavy tanks. They're probably a little slower. Just have to be patient. They're going to arrive in a second, buddy. Just there. Okay. They're both ready. Three TDs. They could one shot the first person they see. Oh, and it's a, a big juicy target. Oh, he's missed. His teammate didn't shoot. What's going on? What are you doing? What's the steer doing? Oh, he's not shooting. He's humping you from behind. What? He's using the wargaming. Um, I can push you without actually physically touching you because touching is inappropriate maneuver it, who is this guy canadan underscore one in the steer 
is uh, pressing himself up against Mad Dog's butt. Um, you know, the Swedish TD does have a little bit better concealment, so they don't see him. They see you. That's why they shot you. And that infuriates Canada, who pushes the steer forward just a little bit more so that he gets detected. And now he's pushing him forward, wedging up against his ass. And, oh, Mad Dog has exploded. Mad Dog has exploded. And Canada and one is, is running away. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Canada and ran away. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Look, you're running away. Like the pussy you are. You're the next contestant on today's biggest asshole. Were you the biggest asshole? Well, you guys get to decide. Look. Another STRV. With the commander that surely you can open your wallet and play this game. It's Mocha Da for all. I think that means coffee for all. No, don't wait. Don't even touch him. It could get him upset. Just park beside him. There, beautiful. Beautiful. In siege mode. Two TDs side by side. Ready to shoot anyone that should bet. Uh, you know how this goes, right? Okay. Uh, make nobody in the JSOR. That's it. Uh, I understand. That's infuriated you. You were touched. Touching is inappropriate. Oh, look. You had a target. Uh, it's unfortunate that the two of you didn't shoot that tank. That just annihilated your teammate. Much better for you to uh, wedge the STRV sideways to use as armor. This has infuriated, infuriated Mokada, who types in chat, please report the GSOR for pushing. Well, he hasn't pushed you yet. Now he's pushing you. But that's okay, Wargaming has designed this map perfectly. There's a small pebble there that's stopping your tank from flipping into the uh, abyss. But, oh, you, uh, you, which do, okay, there he goes. Well, well, no harm done, you haven't lost any HP yet. McNobody in the GSOR. McNobody, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Why are you playing this game? Why are you so upset? Uh, have you had a bad day? Did uh, Mokara uh, touch you slightly? Did it upset you? <laughs> Mommy, he touched my little pixel tag with his little pixel. <laughs> what? He touched your peepee -pee with, with his peepee? -pee? No, no, Mommy. I, I said pixel. The pixel tank. Those imaginary tanks on that stupid game? Yes. Why the fuck are you so upset? Go outside for Christ's sakes. Get some air. Some sunshine. You're playing video games 14 hours a day. Get a haircut. Get a real job. Ah, McNobody, you are a nobody. Nobody cares about you. Nobody likes you. You are truly a Mick nobody. And he's going to do it again. And this time the pebble will not save Mokada. There he goes again. We could watch this whole replay. I think it happens six or seven times. Mokada is a uh, glutton for punishment. And there he goes. <laughs> the advanced physics in this game uh, precludes him from uh, damaging himself. So it's all okay. It's all okay. <laughs> McNobody, you are the next contestant on today's biggest asshole. Well, well, who's next? Wilster419 from the Relic 2 clan. Good clan. Playing the Conquer gun carrier. Tier 10. Powerful SPG. Ah, you know how this is going to go. I'm tired of doing commentary. I need a... I think I need, <coughs> need to get myself a coffee. I have a coffee. I'll, uh, I'll get my energy back up. Don't forget, uh, guys, there's no more voting button. Leave some comments. We need to know who will be today's biggest asshole. Uh, I'm just going to prepare myself a coffee here, and I think the rest of this replay will speak for itself uh, as he gets ready to take his first shot. Let the games begin. And I'll just introduce you to uh, Just Seal Clubbin' 2 in the Carnarvon Action X. An asshole with rhythm. If there's such a thing as uh, asshole rhythm. If there's anyone out there with asshole rhythm, it's this guy. The question you have to ask yourself is, how can you keep this up for 
for 15 minutes. How small a brain. How dim-witted. How insignificant. How mind-bogglingly, hopelessly pathetic you have to be to derive joy from the behavior you are witnessing here. Now I can think of two or three other ways that I could derive some joy. That does not include ramming my little pixel tank against someone else's pixel tank. Someone I don't know that may live in another part of the world for 15 minutes. Ah, but everyone's different. Everyone's wired differently, guys. There are some out there, some people, who unfortunately are not dealing with a full deck. They're a few cards short, if you know what I mean. But he's got rhythm! I'll give him that! But just remember, when you're out in your day-to-day -day life, as far away from this game as possible, when you're driving, when you're at the bank, when you're at the grocery store, just think in the back of your mind, you're standing in line at the grocery store and there's a guy in line there who's snapping his fingers. Someone with the rhythm? He could be an asshole. He could be this guy. You never know. Just saying. Just seal clubbing. Today's next contestant. Let's just fade it out here as you burn. Karma is a biatch. Fish Pig is driving his KPZ-50T. He is a great player. He has earned this tank uh, by playing rank battles and finishing, I don't know, he did really well in rank battles, this guy. And he got himself a KPZ-50T, and I'm jealous because I don't have one. And oh, look at that, there's a guy on his team rushing ahead there, look at his name. <laughs> Why is every team useless? <laughs> the LT-432, that ah, was a funny name. <clears throat> well, why is every team league useless? Seems that way. Yeah, a lot of times when you play the game, especially when you get better and better. <laughs> I'm not there yet, guys. I'm just, I'm a little bit above average. But there's some really good players. And I bet they all ask themselves that question. <laughs> why is every team useless? Seems, uh, yeah. you just can't count on your teammates, can you, Fish Pig? But Fish Pig does not need help from his teammates. He knows exactly what to do. Because uh, any guy who has one of these tanks uh, knows what he's doing. Well, unless they recently you could get them for bond, no, not bonds, uh, in that uh, black market. Right? And so there's the occasional person that's paid 50 million credits for it, and they, they might suck. But now what's it, what's it going on here? Oh yeah, I forgot. This was an episode of the Biggest Asshole. Ah well, there you go. <laughs> Who's the asshole? It's the LT-432. LT-432. How many uh, clips have we watched today? One, two, three, four, five. Five clips. Um, uh, seven assholes. Because the first clip had a platoon of three. Now you guys get to vote. Well, actually, you don't. But you guys get to decide. Leave your comments in the comments section. You need to choose who you feel today's biggest asshole is who is the winner if you don't leave comments if you don't react with the video youtube will shadow ban this video and and push it down in the standings because there's no more voting button and i've said the word asshole probably 11 times now and that's so bad today because everyone's a snowflake <laughs> and they don't want their pixel pp touched so Help me out, guys, and leave a comment. Let me know who I'm so upset. <laughs> the algorithm is going to push my video down. And no one will watch. <laughs> It'll just be me and the assholes.
Why do you think I go through all this work preparing this stuff for you? Show a little interaction, will you? Just like this guy here. He's, well, he's, he, he is interacting. This LT-432. He is interacting. Unfortunately, he's interacting uh, with a member of his own team. Have you guys counted how many times? How much ammunition are you going to waste? Shooting your own team. He's upset because he raced forward into the middle, the corridor, where usually the heavy tanks go, in his light tank. And he's upset that this KPZ-50T did not follow him. You know, I, I, I'm in an LT-432, and I'm an asshole, and you're a really good player. You didn't follow me. I'm angry. So I'm going to shoot you 83 times. How much ammunition does an LT-432 have? He's down to his HE shells now. Why would an LT-432 player pack any HE? Well, why? Because he's a Muppet. <sighs> so here we are. We have spent another almost 20 minutes together, guys. And what have we achieved? Nothing. We've achieved absolutely nothing. We've been entertained by a myriad of morons. And now you guys get to leave some comments and decide who was today's biggest. It's not over because, um, well, this guy is not done. He's still shooting his poor teammate. But it's not over. Uh, he is going to answer his own question. The question that we've all been asking ourselves as we watch this video. Well, maybe some of you haven't been asking yourselves this question. But he poses the question in the very name he chose as his avatar in this game. Certainly not... Uh, a name that is anonymized, that it is his real name. Why is every team useless in the LT-432? Well, the answer to your question, my friend, is because in this particular game, because you're on this team, and that's why this team is useless, because you are on it as he drives to the water to drown himself. Why is every team useless? Well, because there's probably an asshole, or a moron, or a muppet, or a combination thereof on said team. But rest assured that Klaus Kellerman will be here day in and day out, featuring all the morons and assholes as you submit your replays. And this one has come to an end. I'm eager to read the comments to see who you guys believe is today's biggest asshole. There can only be one. Well, actually, maybe there could be lots.